Hello, my soccer universe. We are living in a yellow submarine. I'm now putting my <laughs> bar high. I need to find an opening line for every video that I have regarding the shirt. I'm wearing Via Real, which will be the last team we'll be looking at. So yeah, part two of the La Liga jersey review. And in this one, we of course have the biggest of boys of them all, which is Real Madrid. Uh, but we also have other teams in there, which of course begs the question, as always, how do I choose the uh, teams in this video? So I take last season standings and then I go one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one, and so on. The teams with the two next to it are in this video. So we have in this video Real Madrid, we have Villarreal, we have Athletic Club or Athletic Club Bilbao or just Bilbao, uh, Getafe and then Espanyol. Um, then I sort them alphabetically and however you want to call Athletic Club, Bilbao or whatever, they come out on top and that's the first team we'll be looking at. They're also the first team uh, of from New Balance that we'll have in this video and the only team of New Balance. Um, I am very happy to report that uh, we get almost a classic looking uh, Athletic Club shirt or Bilbao shirt uh, from New Balance. I have to say, I mean, now this uh, picture I have taken, it looks a little, little bit better than the one. It's a little bit twisted, but the color looks like humongously white. Uh, but I really like the white and red uh, stripes the way they put to put them in, there's a little bit of a diagonal uh, in there as well, which uh, fits nicely with the club's crest. If you look, um, there is like this diagonal within the crest and then it extends to the left and at the right. So we have slightly uh, darker stripes below and slightly lighter stripes uh, above. Uh, over I have, have to say, it's a pretty nice look. I also like that, you know, you have black sleeve cuffs uh, that fit very nicely with the black New Balance logo and the Kutcher Bank. Uh, sponsor and as you see the sponsor is very nicely the letters are outlined so uh, without the sponsor you would have just the stripes which is I think the way to do it I think the back is all red as far as I remember so this is kind of the one thing that I don't like I mean New Balance goes very much down the Nike 2016 route where the front is basically it's just a bib with the uh, design that you want to have and then the back is something completely different yeah but that's a whole different story uh, there. I would say overall this looks really nice. I like uh, the sl slightly thinner stripes for uh, Bilbao a whole lot uh, and I actually like the effect as well. So overall I have no problem giving this uh, an 8 star to start it all off. Uh, the away jersey, and you see here the weird, the weird cut where the color looks just humongous, or this looks like a kid's jersey. Maybe this is a kid's jer jersey, the way this is done. So uh, that's kind, kind of weird. Bilbao always had, you know, different shades. Now they go for this kind of brighter uh, bluish green, and then the discolored crest with black. It falls almost the same way as I did it with uh, Elche, where um, we also had a very bright green and then black on there. Um, it doesn't look as egregious here because the green is not as vibrant. It's still uh, not my favorite uh, in many ways. I would love to see a kind of different color combination. So I'm going to go with four stars here. Moving on to a promoted side with Espanyol. Um, I was actually debating should, should I wear my Espanyol shirt for this video, but I'll keep it. As is uh, Espanol run through uh, the Segunda for a year and they are back and I think they are back where they belong. Um, classic, Kelme delivered a classic Espanol look with a twist with all this kind of zigzaggy uh, patterning in there, which I think is quite nice. Uh, gives it a, a little different feel, but you still have the classic uh, um Espanol look. Um, I'm getting used to that, uh, you know, you have more or less white and then, you know, the stripes are kind of thick as it is for Barca, uh, which I think is all right. I think thinner stripes might, especially with the pattern, might not look as well. And I'm very happy to see the Riviera Maya sponsor back again. Uh, to me, this is one of the multiple line sponsors this is one of the best sponsors out there. You have the Mayan temple on there, you have kind of the sun in there, and then even the font is very pleasing. And what's most important, it fits within the one center stripe. So uh, it is very well put there. Crest, fine. Uh, color maybe could be a little bit more exciting, but you know, blue and white, what, what more do you want? 
Kerme doing again a pretty good job. They already did a pretty good job on for other ways. I also like this shirt quite some. Uh, can I complain with the sponsor? Nine stars. What more can I say? I even like the away jerseys in this one. Uh, I really love the way that they have just the red jersey and then you put the club's colors across uh the chest but you know uh in a non-standard way and then you have also the blue and white sleeve cuffs maybe but i think it's all right uh the color could have also been blue but i think it's all right the way it is uh because i think if you want to make it work the color should have been white with a blue band and not like the sleeve cuffs are um i think it's a very strong away look and again with the um, uh sponsor you cannot mess it up also they almost avoid to have blue and red you know you have the red and then you have the white and then the blue so uh you are avoiding the barcelona uh look look in many ways uh and red is of course a color from the crest so uh, makes it fitting too um i want to go nine stars as well i really like what um uh, what they are doing here and then the third jersey also espanol might have the best set in the league i you cannot go wrong with dark blue with me and then having a little pattern in there and again sponsor it it all it all makes sense this is for me the sign of good kit making you have i uh, there's a, something special with interest to look at you have a classic home jersey you have an away jersey in a contrasting color and then another contrasting color for the third church which is actually connected to the club as well uh really love this one I'm also going to go nine stars. I would love if the pattern uh, would explain a little bit more what this could be, but uh, it's not obvious, but it's not bad as well. Nine stars. Espanol, Kelme, really, really good. I think Kelme did overall a very good job this season. I don't think we'll have another Kelme uh, jersey here. We're going to the other major Spanish supplier, which is, of course, Getafe by Homa. Um, and to me, I do like the idea, you know, you get off you have blue and then you need to add some something. I usually had like this uh, tiger marks or whatever on the sleeves for a few years. Now they just go um, with patterns, uh, with, with a pattern look and then this uh, line down the center that's in a slightly different blue. Um, I think overall this looks f uh, fine. However, I have a feeling this might be a team wear look because you see the line stops uh, stops for the sponsor so there's a gap there but the gap is so large that it could fit a second sponsor in there which kind of tells me you know if you know that if only the techno casa uh wouldn't the line there be a little bit so that's uh something i've been wondering uh, about um i do like the color though and i think overall it's a pleasing uh look the gap a little bit takes it out i do like the this pattern in there and we see a little bit more of that when we look at the other georgia jersey but i think it's a pretty decent seven star look i also like that the away jersey when it's the same jersey uh it just takes uh yellow and red and now the techno casa is it's a little bit more car colorful because it, it keeps the all color crest in a way um i do like the red with the yellow con combined kind of a spanish look which is also reflected in in the crest of course in the spanish flag the red uh, the red is uh, has as much weight as does the yellow so maybe that's something could have been done but i think it looks overall all right and and then again it's a contrasting color to the blue it's still dark but uh it, it would work and it will work especially uh, uh with the uh, red jersey the one thing though here is that it goes a little bit str uh, here the gap for the, for the sponsor becomes a little bit too much and i also think it's maybe a tad too many colors there as well so i'm only going to go six stars although um i think overall it's a really nice looking jersey um and then we have the third jersey same idea i mean it's almost blue and white um the one thing i don't like here because you know you could have discolored the crest for the red one here i honestly think full color crest would be better because then with the green of the techno casa group which is also reflected in the crest this would look nice um the base it looks like a white shirt but i think this is kind of it's, it's a very light pinkish and uh, lots of patterns in there and 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 again i mean the, a little bit uh, it tries too much in the event we still have the gap of the sponsor then the sponsor in another color uh on top of that uh while well with decolor the crest and then uh, you know if it was a white jersey i will i would be all right but you know this kind of pinkish hue on it 
something's a little bit off here and i'm gonna go one down for that reason uh, i'm gonna go five but i think overall over getafe uh does have a nice look so let's go to the biggest boys in this video which is of course real madrid um for some reason this does not look like a Real Madrid jersey because um, I, Real Madrid for me is white. I mean, as white as it can, can be and you can use a little bit of accents. However, going, um, I mean, uh, it doesn't have a blue tail. This is the, the, the blue is on the inside, but having so thick sleeve curves and then in two colors, to me, this is a little bit too much. It takes away from there. Uh, you know, you want to just delicately accent this. I think if you would go all white, you take the blue stripes and then maybe have instead of the yellow here, a uh, blue, this would be way more Real Madrid. This is way too colorful for a Real Madrid jersey. It's not a bad jersey. It also plays, you know, you see kind of the circular uh, wavy pattern in there and especially on the back, it, it is plays an homage to the Sibeles uh, fountain where Real Madrid fans tend to celebrate their titles, which I did, uh, which I was part of it once else this is a celebration in 2002 when they won the champions league so um that is nice it is overall i mean the choice of colors is very much reflective of the crest but i just cannot get away that this does not look quite real madrid i think if spurs would come out with something with a darker tone of blue i could live with that a whole lot more uh but for real madrid too much color and I know it's major, major divide, but um, yeah. So for that reason, I'm gonna go six stars. I mean, even that the Adidas is in yellow, although it fits nicely with the crest, it should be with, at least it should fit with the sponsor. It's just my, you know, you see, for Real Madrid, I, for Real Madrid, you have to use the highest possible standards, and the highest standard is an all white kit. So for this, I'm gonna go six stars. Although the jersey by itself doesn't look all that bad. I have to admit. Um, I do, however, really like the away jersey. It's not as great as the dark blue golden one that they had, but I really like, you know, um, it's the, it is a dark blue and it has this kind of fun graffiti pattern on there. Um, crest discolored, maybe it's all right. And then you have the orange top. Uh, here, I do wonder though, uh, wouldn't it be nicer to have like, uh, make it all blue and orange and don't have the white. I think this could look a whole lot more fun, but I think, this looks really, really nice um, and enjoyable. Eight stars, I think I'm gonna give this one. And then the third jersey, yeah. Here the discolored crest, I know it makes kind of sense, but it looks kind of just as an afterthought. Uh, it has the Adidas logo in the two colors, which uh, most major Adidas teams had so far. We saw it with Arsenal. I think we saw it with United, we saw it with Bayern Munich. So you have uh, here in black and white. I think it's now the second or the third time that uh, Real Madrid uses turquoise as a third color. Um, fair game in a way, but to me turquoise is more of a Barcelona uh, away color than it's a Real Madrid color. I think here Real Madrid should have gone all out. I mean, uh, if they choose the orange from the previous jersey uh, or from the pre previous two jerseys, I understand it's also more Barcelona, uh, but I still think I would have loved it a little bit more if they, uh, you know, to have a, a more cohesive set. Turquoise doesn't quite do it. And it it's like a, a very average Real Madrid kit uh, in that sense. I would have expected a little, a little bit more. I'm going to go five stars here. And then we'll finish at the yellow submarine who... Um, I do really like this church, uh, the church jersey and the sponsor. I mean, it's very uh, consistent. However, I feel that the yellow, it gets, a, I mean, uh, they always had a little bit of this uh, faded out uh, yellow. Now we have a really, really bright yellow. Um, kind of a change of the club's colors in some sense, but you know, it looks nice. I really like the color. I know it's not a shirt color and it stops here, but it gives the impression of a shirt color. So I do like it. And then you have just a yellow submarine pattern uh, with a little bit of blue uh, accents like uh, here. All that you want from a Villarreal shirt. Um, really nicely done. Homer, good job. I would say this is a uh, nine star effort. I do. I really do uh, like it. 
Um, again, as always with VRL, the alternatives, although less, less is in Navy was really nice. This one here, <laughs> yeah, 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 it's a little bit too much. Uh, first of all, I think for VRL, a uh, dark blue shirt uh, makes a whole lot more sense than does a, a red one, I have to say. Uh, but you know, it, it at least gives a contrasting color. But then this fuzzy pattern on there, I'm not a fan. Honestly, this goes in the four star pile, I gotta, I gotta say. And then, yeah, we have kind of a bluish third jersey, but bluish and pink, give me bluish and yellow. Uh, and this is also kind of the steely, almost going to grade with lots of gradients in there. Uh, it lacks all the vibrancy that the home shirt has in many ways. So, it, uh, and you know, yeah. Can I just say, I don't like it. I'm gonna give this three stars. So there you have it. All the second part jerseys are done. I would like to know from you which jerseys in here did you like and where you do agree and where you do disagree with me. Also give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these. Part 3 should be coming the following Wednesday, I think. And up until then, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to the channel and click the little bell icon so that you get updated whenever anything happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day!